Welcome to the Cornwall Reports News Briefing for Wednesday the 8th of June. The local media headlines today. Now, two weeks tomorrow, there are a couple of parliamentary by-elections which could make Monday night's political excitement look like a walk in the park. Only one of Cornwall's MPs was brave enough to say that he has no confidence in Boris Johnson, a decision that won't do him any harm at all. St Ives MP Derek Thomas is arguably now the most influential politician in Cornwall, although admittedly the bar isn't set very high. If the Tories take another beating in a fortnight's time, he might find that some of his colleagues also go public with their doubts. One of those colleagues, Truro and Falmouth's Sherilyn McCrory, suggested that she had swallowed her earlier doubts and backed Boris Johnson because she was trying to help Ukraine. Possibly not the most convincing explanation we've heard so far. And while the next general election is probably quite a bit closer now than it was last week, that begs the question of whether there'll be a change of government before Cornwall's long-promised satellite finally manages to take off. Apparently, it's still not been built but we don't know why. The BBC was among those to report that a Devon Cornwall police officer is in line for a bravery award after helping a colleague who'd been set on fire. PC Alan Lenton helped PC Daryl Mayers during a violent eviction in Newquay nearly two years ago. The Falmouth Packet said there'd been a small earthquake near Constantine over the weekend. Pirate of M fears that the clean-up operation after an unauthorised music festival at Davidstow could take several weeks. The Cornish Times reports concerns over the future of St Mary's Church in Merrymeet. And finally, Cornwall Live warns that some inland villages could be getting closer to the sea because of global warming, but not for thousands of years. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.